much in Pakistan's favour, you would think. Right, let's have a look at this. Height's the only concern for me. Definitely straight enough. Oh, it's clipping the top of the bales. Where's the benefit of the doubt? Oh, what a ripper. Goodness me. How good is that? The perfect Yorker. Absolute rip snorter. What a cracker from Rias. Fast and straight. Off the toe from Franklin and over required. The march is on as far as New Zealand is concerned. This time he goes, but he could have picked the first, but now he has one man back there on the onside. It was long on and all just bats it to He's played it on, he went for the lap, and all he could do was just help it onto the stumps. And the ninth wicket falls, it's Nathan McCullough. Really as well bowled by Omar Dori. Keeping it nice and up, a little bit of in-cut. Helped by Nathan McCullough. But uh, he'll take it, Omar Dori. And he smiles because it's a major success. Nathan McCullough did tease Pakistan in the last game. with stick slower ball. Tanvir. Hold him, that's it. That's it, he's dragged it on. Hamish Bennett has dragged one on for Riaz, and in doing so, Pakistan have won this match, and they've also won the series. Well, this is after a very long time that Pakistan had been uh, absolutely brilliant in the one-day games and won the series. They came back strongly in England. England had beaten them 2 0 The first two games were won by them. Pakistan made a great recovery to make it 2 all, And then they lost the last one, the all-important one, and the similar fate against South Africa also recently in the one-day series, but not here. Umar Khan was outstanding. Wahab Riaz was uh, instrumental in picking up wickets and giving up really a good win. And the Pakistan players, they're going into a huddle. They've taken stumps out.